Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Chris Aponte, and this is an. <sighs> Hello, and welcome. My name is. Hello, and welcome. My name is Chris Aponte. First video from the new channel, ironing out some kinks. Hello, and welcome. My name is Chris Aponte, and this is an unboxing and authentication guide to the Air Jordan 3 Amamanier, raised by women. At the time of filming, this pair is between 12 and 16 months old based on the production date ranges on the interior size tag. This dead stock pair is a size US 12 and a half women's, 11 men's. Please understand that quality control deviations can and will occur on retail and do not necessarily discredit their authenticity. Some features can be size dependent, so consider this guide a solid example and not an absolute. The packaging has a clear plastic outer carton over the shoebox with Amma Manier all over print branding in white. The code on this outer carton reads 20JAMM19 underscore sleeve space 345X250X125. The US release will most likely have the suggested retail tab on the box label with the $200 price point in USD. Canadian releases should have something similar and the rest of the world typically doesn't have a suggested retail. The style code is DH3434 space 110 and the official colors are white, white, medium gray. The metric box dimensions are 36 by 26 by 12 and a half. There is no code stamp under the lid, a dead stock pair should have translucent branded tissue paper over the shoes, and there is a YCM sticker on the inside of the box. This pair has the extra lace bag neatly attached to the right shoe in the top lateral lace hole. The Nike Air, along with the brown, thin, cardboard, co-branded tag are hung on the lateral side of the left shoe with a black stretch nylon cord. A dead stock pair should already be factory laced in the first five pairs of lace holes. Now there is nothing significant revealed on this pair under UV light. Glue near the midsole join is normal. And a word on UV light testing. UV light can be a great authentication tool, but it should never be relied upon as a be all end all. Many replicas will pass a UV test and relying solely on a UV test is a great way to get burned on a replica. The squeeze test, where you squeeze the outsole right under the toe box, should have lots of resistance. The outsole has a mostly matte finish. The gray suede outer rand has a distinctive shape on both sides. Many replicas have not mastered this shape. There is a neat double stitch with gray thread on the outer rand and in white thread on the inner rand. The PVC coating makes a medium tumble on the white composite leather of the shoe. The gray suede has a longer nap on the lace line than any other suede on the shoe. The TPU on the back tab and the lace line have no green hue, another element that many replicas have not mastered. The tongues are respectively co-branded in shiny gray thread. You can clearly see all four fingers on the Jumpman on the right tongue. The Amam in your branding on the left tongue is four centimeters high. The back of the tongue and the inner collar all the way down to the heel have a gray satin quilted pattern with single white thread lines. The insoles are blue ortholite with a parallel glue pattern going all the way to the top key slot. The brownish violet top has a screen printed jump man on the right insole heel and an ah mom and near branding on the left insole heel and the edge fidelity is excellent. The size tag factory code on the top right is LNM, and the security code over Made in China is different on both shoes. The footbed has a nylon strobel with one visible guide hole and a good amount of white stitching. Visible markings on the strobel are normal. If you thought this guide was helpful, please give a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for all future authentication guides on this channel, and remember, Real sneakerheads show love.